Hey folks, doing a little live gameplay from the K6 here today, which I purchased. It's a reduced package, the cheaper of the two. Decided I don't usually do the uh, XP camo anyway. I like the more historical camos. And um, I took it out once last week just to play around with it a little bit and uh, really enjoyed it. It's obviously a, a fantastic plane, and I thought, you know, let's do it. Uh, content is hard to get, by the way, on these weekends with with the marathons um it's such a fascinating thing because there's so many players out and um, they're so desperate to win and you know it, it makes for some really lopsided matches um which you know are not very entertaining or interesting um and then it also makes for some matches that just you'd rather forget about right it's like oh god no one wants to watch that happen sometimes when you're winning and, and sometimes when you're losing so um Anyway, I thought I'd take this out again. You know, the first match I, I did in it, I recorded it, but it was one of those where it was just like, there wasn't a lot happening. And, uh, and that may be the case with this one too, in which case maybe I'll just package them back to back for you uh, so you can see them both. But you, know, you can see one of the things that uh, is fantastic is this plane is far more maneuverable than it uh, would otherwise appear to be. We're gonna go over the mining plan, I think. Um, and see if we can counter cap it. Uh, you know, the, t the 360 turn time is not great, but the rudder is excellent, and, um, you know, the roll rate's excellent as well. So as a result, you end up um, having a pretty pretty easy time getting around. Obviously, you don't want to turn fight specialized, or craft that are specialized for that. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to be on an intercept course with this guy. See, I'm, I'm not going towards him because it actually takes me longer. I'm waiting for him to come to me in some sense. We're, we're meeting in the middle, right? And I'm just running a, an eight-point pilot on this, um, maybe nine, nine-point pilot. I've got marksman one, marksman two, um, aerobatics and aerodynamics. So I guess that's nine. Um, I don't think we're going to counter cap this in time, unfortunately. Maybe I should have started down here with this guy. <laughs> and, and the bot dives and gets nothing done, of course. There we go. Our, bo our bots finally uh, contributed some stuff to it. Now we're going to finish this guy on this pass more than likely. See if I can get the guns to connect. All right. So that takes care of that. We'll let our bots wrap up there. Our boost cooler is almost back. So we'll pass over the airfield and then head to the other side to do some counter cap work there. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm a very offensive player. I, I move zones a lot. Um, I don't want to bother with him, but we'll send a bot after him. There's a XP-67 Specialized on our side. There's a Tempest and a 109G on their side. I've not seen either of their players yet. Oh, there's the Tempest. Okay, well, let's knock him off while we're here. There's no repair station, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, quite get here in time. Up and over. Eh, what else we got? I got a P-47. That guy, by the way, that guy's too dangerous. I did not want to leave him alive. I, you know, I know I can wait on the points on that one, but waiting 25 seconds, um, not super great, and, um, and also human pilot, right? Like this one? Bot trying to go head-to-head -head with the first okay uh, this one I'll wait right and clear that out and then I'll dive and have my pick of the litter here against these and uh, because we're up above the bots when they spawn it's really easy to pick one and just go to town we're gonna come off of him and go on the uh, if my aim doesn't suck that is all right He is not paying attention, so there we go. Uh, I think this two tip is turning towards me. We don't want any piece of that on a head on because I don't know if his rockets are spawning yet or not. Pilot's gone. He's gone. Uh, yeah, it looks like there is a bomber over here. 
I've got my boost cooler back. It's interesting that there's a lone light fighter over there. I wonder if that's the other player. No, he, it would take him too long to respawn. He would not be over there. So, not too worried about that. Let's finish. Uh, interesting. Let's get this to you. 12. I need him to come back in the zone, though. He's going to leave it. Oh, no, he's going to stay in it. Okay. Well, that's easy then. Looks like they're trying to retake the airfield, which is fine. I'll I'll snag it on the way back. Well, let's go ahead and eliminate this threat. Because when this guy spawns, he's going to be probably headed back to the other mining plant. He'll be closer to his spawn zone, right? So the AI bot will probably that will probably be its decision, its uh, logic tree, right? Just to go the one closer, and uh, I'll just head back that way and pop them there. Um, I could also cap this one, and normally I would. But we're we're up so far. I don't I don't want the game to end early again. You know, supremacy rears its ugly head a lot, and um, battle with that last night. So I'm flying with flying with Nova Tempest for a bit, and his, you know, especially trying to get those gray twos over the weekend. Um, yeah, it's a little tougher to do when there's just supremacy standing in the way, right? <laughs> especially on the NA server late at night, you're trying to wrap things up, and it's like, well. There were people on the server, but now it's just me and some bots, and uh, this game is not going to last long enough for it to matter. Yeah, so even without me going there, because our bombers and you know, everything that was attacking the planet just slid next door. So we'll just uh, get some personal points here and wrap this up. And that'll close us out. Like I said, not all that interesting, sadly. Uh, maybe if the XB67 had been on the opposite team from me, that would have been a little, little better, better way to go. But no dice. So I don't have this thing specialized yet, obviously. So. You know, we're we're working on that, and I'll I'll grind this out. I won't. It's it's too fun to fly to use tokens on it, right? But um, you know, right now I just have some base equipment on it. I throw on one of the experimental sites that um, I got from you know the earlier earlier marathon stuff we were doing, and just an upgraded engine for now. Um, you know, there's not especially in a stock configuration with one slot. You're not going to get this maneuverability to a point where it really matters, where you can really outturn <laughs> something else. So you might as well lean into speed, especially since, um, you know, there are some other aircraft you'll need to deal with the, the, this tier P-51s and, and uh, some of those. And of course, the, the other 109, who I only saw once. But um, it, it's an interesting plane. I, I will say, you know, I, I don't think it's overpowered as a plane. I mean, I do think it's overpowered. I don't think it's meta breaking as a plane. Um, mostly where this thing uh, lands is that, you know, it's really good against tier sixes and it's okay, you know, maybe stronger than it should be on tier, but, you know, it still gets whacked when it's uh, tier eight, nine battle. Um, just because there's stuff that's significantly faster than it. And of course, stuff that significantly outturns it. And some of the stuff that outturns it is also faster than it. So, uh, you know, you, you run into some issues at, uh, at tier eight. I think I just said tier nine, but really tier eight. So, anyway, uh, good battle. You know, we'll do one more here. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, so this weekend, um, I believe we're in attrition, if I remember right, uh, for the Tempest Marathon, which of course is my favorite game mode, and uh, it'll be really, really a joy to fly in that. Um, and one of the things about attrition is it does bring out a little different meta um, onto the map in terms of planes that people play. And uh, it, um, you know, it simplifies the game again. So if you're a new player, play this weekend, play attrition. You know, there's not as much um, opaqueness to what you have to do to win and be successful in the match. You know, it's really just about shooting down planes and uh, getting, to, getting back to the basics. So I would encourage you to play this weekend, this coming weekend, um, in the attrition mode. And just check it out, see what it's about. You can also scroll through my old videos. I have one on the arrow. And uh, you can kind of see it there. 
talking about attrition and why I enjoy it, why I think it's a, a good, why I think it's a better uh, mode for World of Warplanes, why I think it should be the default mode for World of Warplanes, um, as opposed to this sector capturing stuff we have here. Um, one other thing I've been wanting to talk about for a while is um, I've had this conversation with a couple of different pilots in preparation for having this conversation with you all is, you know, what is the worst thing in World of Warplanes? Is it, um, is it the overpowered aircraft? Is it um, supremacy that cuts matches off short? Is it the smaller population, especially here in, in the NA server? Um, I don't think it's any of those. Um, <laughs> So, you know, I think this is the indication they've tweaked the matchmaker, the biggest indication, because, I'll, you know, a month or two months ago, we would have been on opposite teams. And, um, you know, he and I will be have a less frustrating match, I guess, in that sense, because um, I would absolutely stomp a ME-410 unless I just wasn't paying attention, right? This plane would definitely be a counter to that. But it's a little less frustrating match, but... It's, it's going to be a much shorter one. Uh, this probably is not going to last long either. So we'll see what happens. Uh, he's, I, is he carrying bombs maybe? Or we just have both out of the airfield? I mean, again, normally we'd split up, but since it's just the two of us, uh, why bother? Yeah, let's prolong the game. Let's squeeze as much personal points out of it as we can. And um, did he circle out? He dove. Okay. Did he just crash? He quit. Okay. Well, um, God of Dame, um, thanks for playing. I'm not sure why you would do that. Um, it benefited you nothing. It benefited no one anything. Um, yeah. Again, just kind of kind of weird. Um, some of the struggles we have, I guess. Um, you know, is that the worst thing about World War Planes? Players who have absolutely no idea what they're doing, uh, who throw matches, you know, for their teammates, who screw their teammates over on a regular basis, you know. Maybe. Um, I don't think, I still don't think it's any of those, though. Um, I don't think the clueless player is really the worst thing about Pop World of Warplanes. Um, again, we're just going to take our time here. I, sh I would normally push on to another cap, but we're just going to ride this out nice and easy. Um, the worst thing about World of Warplanes, world of warplanes is, is not mechanical. Um, the worst thing about World of Warplanes is <laughs> we have some really really bitter veterans in this game and you know that bitterness has been well earned obviously uh, wargaming in, in particular I would say maybe not wargaming maybe more so Persia um, have certainly earned every bit of ire and, um, and every bit of ill will that has gone their way uh, they have gone out of their way to earn it and so they deserve every ounce of it um, and have really never done anything to uh you know, rectify that or apologize for it or try to make it better in any way. So um, I'm not too worried about that. Um, yeah, I get why people are bitter, I guess, is what I would say. Um, what I what I don't like is that bitterness is rarely directed at Persia or Wargaming. Usually the bitterness that people feel from the game ends up getting taken out on other players. Uh, and that's what I regret. I, I think that's the worst problem that we face as a community, as a game community, is that um, you know, we, we bite and chew and hack at each other, and, and we're, not the, we're not the issue. Um, we really aren't. Um, there's, there's bigger fish to fry. But some people are insistent on creating blood feuds with each other, um, calling each other out. Um, even worse, we have people who, you know, um, refuse to interact with the community um, who think the community is there for for their uh, enjoyment their entertainment their livelihood um, and um, have no interest in um, in being a part of the community they want to stand above it um, stand opposite it and um, and look down on it and that's really bad as well so um, you know hopefully you if you're new to this game can get into games and play and not have to deal with some of that. Uh, 
because it really is some of the worst part of this game easily um, and it's something I don't want to deal with it's something I, I don't want other people to have to deal with either um, but I, I know they do and I know I do so uh, when it happens I try to keep my cool because um, I don't think uh, fighting fire with fire is helpful in a small community like this um, I know what it can cost to fight fire with fire so I'm not a fan of that as a strategy, so to speak. But I do understand that there is um, you know, a need for an outlet of some sort. But I just wish people would take it on on each other. Um, and, and a lot of it's uh, what, what is referred to today as gatekeeping, right? It's people who say, well, I know better than you, and this is the way you should do it. And, and a lot of times they're right. I, I don't think that's – I'm not here to say don't take advice from veterans. Um, but I do think that, that some of the advice that veterans give is advice that is particularly useful for them as veterans of the game. And it's not necessarily particularly useful for newer players um, you know, who are into encountering the game for the first time or who maybe don't have, you know, have a different skill set or a different set of planes or anything, you know, yeah. stuff kind of similar to that. So I would r much rather... Um, be thinking about things from the two-pronged aspect of, you know, yeah, how can you max this out? You know, if you're, if you're a player who's been here forever, you know, what does this look like for you? What's the best strategy for you? But I also think we should take into consideration, you know, aim for newer players, right? Uh, aim for people who are not as skilled. Um, really, videos and content and advice and you know, commentary and discussions on Discord and everything else should not be aimed at the best of your community. It should be aimed at the average person or the new person in your community. Um, that's where that should go to. So if you don't do that, you end up losing all that new blood, uh, all those new people. You lose excitement in the game. You lose, um, you know, any aspect of, of newness, right, energy within the, uh, the ecosphere of the community in the game. So that's something to think about. If you're a bitter veteran, maybe just, put a lid on it <laughs> um, sit on it for a little bit um, maybe don't be so quick to give the right answer um, maybe give some suggestions and some directions uh, speak a little more in generalities um, and, and allow people the, the room especially newer and average players the room to grow and to breathe and uh, and to enjoy enjoy learning the game the way you did right um, I think that's probably the best way to go about it so anyway, my two cents of a rant on this Monday afternoon, as I recorded anyway, this video should go up tonight, hopefully. And uh, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you have a good week. Um, enjoy it. Hope you're continuing to get through the grind, getting some boxes, getting some good stuff. Um, if you're not, don't worry. These are not great boxes. This is not a great marathon. It really kind of stinks. So if you're not able to do it, don't fret. Um, there are other things in life for sure. Uh, but log in, have some fun fly some planes, shoot some stuff down, enjoy yourself, uh, and maybe learn about a little about the craft of dogfighting and air-to-air -air and maybe the craft of the game itself. Um, because one thing I can say that even the bitter veterans are right about is, you know, the more you understand the game, the more enjoyable it becomes. And uh, so hopefully you stick around long enough to learn a little something about the game and as a result of that become a better pilot, a better part of the community and uh, help us keep the wheels on this bus for a little while longer. So enjoy the week, enjoy the day, enjoy your matches. And if you see me online, hit me up. More than happy to fly with anyone, no matter what your skill level is. Good luck and good hunting.